Hello guys, it's Rage Storm or Storm back here for another video. Today's video we're gonna be ranking all the battle pass is in Fortnite from worst to best. Now before we get this in the video, I want to quickly go and announce that from now on, every single day, we will be streaming here on YouTube at 2 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you guys go pop, hit the notification bell so you cannot miss a single stream. You can hop right in and uh, we'll try our best to get daily videos, ranking videos, and um, daily news and videos like that as well. So I hope you guys are ready and today's video, we're going to be ranking the Battle Pass skins. So to start off with... With today's video, we're ranking all the Battle Pass skins, obviously. So, I'm just going to quickly um, make a quick disclaimer. All Battle Pass in, in a video game or in this game in particular mean that all the, these are a lot of good skins. And I don't think there's a single Battle Pass we can consider awful. Uh, but when you compare them to others, there's ways you can say one's not as good as another. So, let's get right into today's video. So, and this is also my opinion, so do not hate on this, this is all my opinion. So if you're clicking this video, I hope you're aware of this is not facts. In my opinion, this is facts, but it's not truth, it's my opinion. So, to start off today's video, we're going to start with season, in the number 12 spot, because there's only 12 battle passes, we're going to start with season 2, but this is chapter 1. I don't want to hear... Oh, you're not an OG. Oh, the Black Knight, you're, 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 you're not being nice to these skins. Uh, no, one, I played on before even Season 1, so I don't want to hear any of that. And two, there's only four skins in Battle Pass. Back blings were not even fully introduced during the season. And there's only two really actual semi-good skins, and that was the Black Knight. It had no edit styles. The Sparkle Specialist, they made a better version of that. Um... And the two night skins. And other than that, you got the floss, the worm, which is a good emote on um, the floss, good. But other thing, everything else, the battle pass is not great. Coming into the seat, the, uh, number 11 spot, we are going to get to chapter, cha I believe it's chapter 1, season 3. I know, another one. You're going to be like, oh, he's really hating on these original seasons. Well, the truth is I'm not. This is a season um, that... I don't think had the greatest battle pass. I think you had some cool skins like the Dark Voyager, the the Elite Specialist John Wick or the Reaper skin. And other than that, you had some lame skins uh, like the Rustler, which I think is okay. And then you have the two sp spacesuit skins. So again, there's nothing crazy about those skins. Um, coming to number 10 spot is going to be Chapter 2, Season 1. This is the first Battle Pass introduced in Chapter 2, and I don't think this Battle Pass is great. I don't think it's bad either. I, I think it's a, more of a middle ground Battle Pass. Um, I, I, I think it's 50-50. I, I think the, the two Tier 1 skins, Journey and Turk, the Fisherman, the Mountain skin, don't, don't compare to any other Tier 1 skins this entire game. They're obviously the worst. Uh, maybe you can say maybe Battlehawk is maybe worse than both. But other than that, these are horrible skins. Then you get ripped, rip, Ripley, I think, or Slurp guy. I don't know. Whatever he is. Um, he's a cool skin. He's a good meme skin. You have to like him. Then you get the Medic Girl. Um, I believe her name. The to and then you had the Toxin Styles. And the thing about this Battle Pass, he's got a bunch of other additional edit styles. So you pretty much have two skins in one. I didn't really grind that season this season. But you can't forget we had the 8-Ball skin. One of the best skins in the Battle Pass history. But I'm not a big fan. I think they went too much on the, um, the rare skins in this Battle Pass. I think they should have went a bit more on the epic side. And it's, the Tier 1 skins were terrible. And then you got the Chick versus Carmio, whatever you want to call her, a bad skin. And then you got Fusion, which is a, a really good tier 100. So it's a, it's a pretty okay battle pass. But there's nothing special about it. So coming into the number 9 spot, we're actually going to go and talk about Season 6. Season 6 is a battle pass where a lot of people have love for a few skins, but most of them absolutely hate Let's first talk about the bad skins. DJ Yonder. That skin is absolutely gone. It's a bad skin. No one uses it anymore. There's a better version of it. It's Yonder. It came in the Season X Battle Pass. One of the best Battle Pass just for a quick teaser. DJ Yonder, you're not going to use it anymore. Then he got a skin like... Um, um, I don't even know what it's called. I don't even remember exactly what it is. It's this default skin riding this inflatable stupid llama thing. I don't even know what it's called. It's terrible skin. It's a default riding a llama. 
Um, it's cool, but it's awful, and you have to hate the skin. It's, it's, it's a terrible meme skin. You're not. It's one. I mean, it may not be, but at the same time, it is. Um, then he got. I don't even know what the tier eighty skin was. Like I, this battle pass is so bad that I can't remember what the tier eighty skin is. But it, then you have okay skins like Dire and Fable. Dire as a tier one hundred isn't okay tier one hundred. And then for tier one, one of the best skins and still in the top ten and the best skins in the game is probably Calamity. Calamity is the only thing holding this battle pass as something successful. Other than that, this is a very bad battle pass. Now coming into number 8 spot is going to be Season 8 itself. Um, season 8 is a battle pass which I think we can all agree was interesting. One, quickly, let's give a hand clap for the best battle pass skin in the entire game, Peely. Um, you gotta like this man, um, that's the best skin in the battle pass. Then he got cool skins like Lux, the tier 100 skin. Lux, I don't think was a good tier 100. I don't think it's a bad skin though, but eh, it's mad. For a tier 100 though, it's kind of bad. I would have be better if they put, just skipped it and put it in the item shop or something like that. Or they could have done something more with a tier 100. And then you get okay skins like Hybrid also. Everything in this battle pass is not bad, it's okay. Then you got Sidewinder, maybe the only bad skin in this battle pass. And other than that, everything's good and okay. Um, then you get Blackheart, which I think should have been the true tier 100 on this battle pass. So again, everything is sort of okay. Um, again, not the most special battle pass in the game. Now coming to number 7 spot is going to be Season 9. Season 9 was a battle pass, I think was meh and i don't again there's these battle passes can range from good to very bad the meh this is the meh part of the battle passes um the tier 100 i think vendetta was a was an okay skin i don't think he was a bad tier 100 i do think he was better than lux and i think he's a bit over underrated he's bulky i understand it's not a skin i would rock every single day but it's a skin i sometimes go back to just to go and play with it a little bit because I think it was a cool skin. It had a bunch of customization. And then you cannot forget Rox. Rox was phenomenal. She had so much customization, just like the tier 100. The season, good customization, a lot of good edit styles. Then you got a skin such as Demi, another really, or Demi, another very good clean battle pass skin that you I, I, I like a lot. And then you get Sentinel. Again, I think he's a bit underrated. I think he was cool at the time, but now he's awful, but he's still okay. I I'm going to let him slide since he fits with the theme, but not the greatest skin. He's way too bulky. Then you get a skin, then I, th I don't even know her name. I should be searching these more, and they're going to improve videos in the future. But it's a skin, I think it's Vena or something. Rena, I don't even know what her name is. Vena, whatever, I don't even know how to pronounce it. But she, she has very weird and boring styles, so... It's it's a mess skin. It's a med battle pass. Um, Rocks has great customization. Um, Demi is a good skin. The, the the guy with the the tilt the storm guy. Not even the real. I hate that storm guy. By the way, is not a true storm character. Do not judge him. It's the one guy I do not want to have anything related to a storm in the game. They put him in. I hate that skin. Anyway, it has storm in it. Um, other than that, I think this is a med battle pass. Coming into number six spot is gonna be season seven. Season seven, I think, was a battle pass. We can go and like, I like it. I think you can go and say that. Season seven was all right. I think it could have been better, but it was all right. Um, let's first talk about the positive. The Ice King. The Ice King's a good battle pass skin. I don't think he was the greatest tier 100. I think he's a bit bulky, but I do love his colors. They can unlock for him. But again, I kind of wish they could give us some customization. But the Ice King's a, another meh battle pass skin. Um, we have to hurry speed things up a bit. Then we got a skin such as Zenith, which I, I, it's the Yeti guy, not, not Trog. But Zenith, the better version of Trog, the cool one. Um, again, not too great of skin. Then we have skins like... Um, Lynx, which is the best, probably one, it has to be at least the top three best battle pass, the top five best battle pass skin in the game. It carries battle pass. Trog's an okay, not great skin though. It's a meme skin. Um, Sergeant Winter's cool, everything, but it's not great. Onesies, I, I think I like onesie. Um, and it's just, it's an okay, another 
good with Battle Pass to Legendaries, but very bad when it comes to non-legendaries. So coming next to our number five spot is going to be Season 4. Season 4, I think, it's a Battle Pass a lot of people hate. And I'm going to be honest, people should like it more. And I'm going to be honest, I don't like it enough. And there's people that do like it. And so there's some people that say they love it. Some people say it's underrated. I'm in the middle, but I have to give season four the number five ranking because it is a worthy battle pass. You have to like it. So, yes, yeah, season 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 four was cool. You had Omega and you had Carbide. Two of the greatest. That, that is a start of why we have all these good battle passes, especially Omega. And then you got two trash skins, though. But everything else, you got Zoe. I think... I think it's meh. And then you got um, Technique, which I, I kind of like Technique, to be honest. Then you got, um, I don't know. It's just a battle pass out there. It's <laughs> just a battle pass. Uh, and then you got Valor. Valor is a cool skin. So it's a battle pass. I like it. They need to do more like these. Um, but yeah, so season four comes to number five. Coming into number four, trading spaces with number five is going to be season five. So, Season 5 is a battle pass. I personally still love this day. I had to give it a lower ranking just because this, the battle pass we have before this are better and it, there isn't like no other way. The two skins that I love that carry this battle pass are Ragnarok and Drift. There's nothing else you could say other than this Stun, Sun Rider or Sun Strider, okay. Rook, okay. Sledgehammer, I think, is the best of the army skins. Um, and... What else do you have? I don't really can't remember. Huntress bad though. Um, so it's a, it's a good battle pass. I think there's a bunch of good skins in it. Um, there, there could be improvements though. So coming into number three spot is gonna be chapter two, season two. This battle pass had some very good skins. You had Midas, probably the one of the best battle passes in the game. I would say top three best battle pass. Some battle pass tier hundreds in the game. Then you got the cool Maya possibility to customize your own skin. Phenomenal. I love that skin so much. Then you get a cool skin like Agent Peely, the best version out of Peely in the entire game. Um, then you got um, some cool, just simple battle pass skins. Brutus is, I guess you could say, the worst battle pass skin, and he's not even that bad. Then you got Tiantina, another good skin. Um, you gotta like Sky. Sky is great, uh, especially that purple version of her. Um, purple and black and, and pink and then you have to like Meowsles because it's Meowsles and you're gonna see why you have to like Meowsles in the number one spot coming to number two it's been beaten a lot of people say this battle pass is the best or the worst just because of the season battle pass wise it's the best but not anymore because a new season has beaten it chapter one season X Coming to number two, Ultimate Knight, great. Master Slayer's skin's insane. It's one of the best tier runs, but it's just been beaten this season. Um, female Drift, I think it's better than Drift, but it's been beaten by the another Drift, apparently. Um, it's pretty much like revamped skins, made better, just like the theme of Season X was. But you make those, you you're like you kind of like go, oh, we're going to take some skins, but almost make them completely different, but still the same. That makes this battle pass the number one spot better than season X. Pretty much number one is season three. This season, I'm not being biased. It will all I think it's gonna be another tough battle pass. Yeah, I said it's about season X. I don't think it's gonna be easy to beat the best season in the game with now is season three. You get I what's his name again? I can't think. It's Fade. Fade, phenomenal. He's incredible. I want them to get some color options for him. He's incredible. Fade, the best drift in the game. Probably one of the best battle passes. The second best in the game. Tier 100. Oh, Eternal Knight. Look at the red style on that woman. She's insane. Best. That's the best skin in the game, I think. The best battle pass skin also. Um, And then you have Fady Nelsons riding a robot. I don't care what you say. The best, another best skin in the game. Um... Then you get some crazy skin like Ocean. You have to like Ocean. Then you get some crazy skin like, what is it? I, I can't even think this battle pass is so good. You get some crazy skins like, I can't even think anymore. This battle pass is so disgusting and good. Um, 
you get it's just a great battle pass. Um, I don't know why I can't think now. What's a tier eighty skin? The tier eighty skin I think is the 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 the. the um, give me a second. I should know this. I used to be good at that. Um, what is tier eighty? What? Oh, tier eighty. That's when I that's when I ranked number three in my battle pass ranking for the season. I'm stupid. All right, guys. That it's been me here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I see you guys in the next one.